Hey guys, Kevin Outdoors tagged us in the show us your bannock challenge. So I'm going to show you guys a clip of me making bannock on our first hot tent um, from last fall. Uh, in it, I make a nice fried bannock. That's my favorite. Um, so we'll cut to that. We're making bannock this morning. Um, I have, so we're doing a half recipe usually, so everything's, this is only two of us, but uh, so about a cup and a half of flour. There's a little bit of salt in there as well, and a, just a touch of sugar. And then um, someone taught me to blend in, before you put any of the wet ingredients, take some lard and like and blend it in and mix it in really well so it's really fine with the flour. And then all you do is, um, add water to that and then anything else you want we're going to put in some blueberries and cinnamon today but uh, yeah so we'll see how it goes so I'm making uh, I've got the dough going and I uh, kind of make a little bit of a well in here and then add water like that that's good and then you just kind of fold it in I don't actually know why but that's how I've been taught and so that's how I do it because I was taught by people who know how to make bannock pretty well so I figure I may as well just follow their instructions. Mm -hmm. Don't fix what's not broken, right? Mm -hmm. It's a nice earlobe texture now, um, which is what I was taught. You kind of want it to feel like the consistency of an earlobe, which is funny, but I just go with what I've been taught. And we're going to throw in some blueberries. Right in there? Yeah. Not a ton, because i got to mash them in. Um, these blueberries we picked this summer, so they're... Northern Ontario blueberries. Mm, the best. And then once you have it the right kind of consistency, you kind of knead it a little bit. I think I've been told you don't want to overwork it too much. It kind of will end up stiffening up your bannock in then. So I'm just doing it enough to fold in some blueberries for us and then we'll try and get our oil going to fry it up. Yeah, that's Oops. good. That's all? Yep. Be a mm. tick one. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so good. Mm hmm. Huh. Yep. It's a lot of oil. So we're frying them, right? Mm -hmm. so it's just being deep fried. Yeah. So put enough that it can be almost submerged. Mm -hmm. If the oil's too hot, what happens, then we'll see here, is it gets crusty on the outside and it's still doughy on the inside. Which, I don't know, might be a bit doughy, we'll see. It's a bit doughy. What if you cut it in half and put it back in? Yeah. Are they thicker than normally would do? No, it's just the because it's so. I think it's hot. The oil's hotter than yeah. like normally. You keep it on like medium heat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I think this will be plenty actually because they can, yeah they puff up and they they're gonna be pretty up. rich. Yeah. Still a bit doughy, but yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to oh, try it? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot. I'm gonna try it Ooh. on its own. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Mm. The cinnamon is so good. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Like the hottest, freshest biscuit yeah. imaginable. This one has a bit of jam on it. It's so good. Mm. 
It's the best breakfast ever. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then also part of the challenge was to share a little bit about uh, charity that is meaningful to you. So I wanted to give a shout out to the Thunder Bay Shelter House. They're a great organization. They work in Thunder Bay and the region to um, offer support. They're not just a shelter, they do a lot of community outreach and, as well. And they've been working hard through this pandemic to continue to provide for um, our population that uh, needs it most. So thanks a lot for all the hard work you guys do over at the shelter house and I hope you enjoyed the bannock. Another part of this is to tag a few people to do the challenge but um, I'm never really sure who to tag in this kind of thing or if they want to do it so I'm just gonna put out an open invite if there's a charity you want to talk about and then you, if you like making bannock then uh, go ahead and do that and make a video and uh, that way it's open to anybody. Cheers.